You know, I know how to shoot with one hand. Hello everyone, welcome back to How To Shoot and today we are going to test out the all new GH6 one of its features which is the high res photo mode although yes, the high res photo mode has been in, introduced in most of the Lumix camera but this time in GH6 they have the handheld high res photo mode so let's go now to one of the park around my area and we'll see how the set work You know, it's so good to wake up early in the morning and just get some photos, nice scenery because yeah, the high res mode is actually really recommended for landscape photographers. If you want to do large prints, then I think, yeah, it's a good thing for you. Alright, we are here and you can see that there is a nice lake over there but then we are having some gloomy skies again today wow, look at the back you see always look around when you're shooting landscape also you see look at the back the sun is actually rising um, i think it's quite nice that side not here so let's go all right so now we are going to turn on the high res handheld mode you need to go into your menu and then first tap Go high resolution mode settings, handheld high res mode, I'll turn it on. Picture quality combine. This means that uh, it's gonna shoot the same picture quality that you have already set before. And then picture size, of course we want the largest. Simultaneously record normal shot on. I wanna turn this on because I want to compare the image of this to the normal shot and the one which is uh, taking the uh, high res mode. And shutter delay, uh, I think it's fine to put this two seconds because anyway, it's handheld. I'm gonna shake anyway. Just one second, yeah. Another new thing about the Lumix GH6 is before this, if you want to activate the high res photo mode, we gotta go into the menu. But right now we have this little knob uh, little icon on top here at this top here all you need to do is just switch it to this and you can now take high res photo all right so what the camera does when it is in high res mode is it will capture automatically eight exposure and combine them into one using the pixel shift so again what i'm trying to try out right now is the handheld high res mode where um, i believe there will be slight ghosting um, in the final output since it's going to be combining eight images right so let's see all right we uh, i'm actually trying to get some of the reflections of the lake but then uh, yet again the sky is still very gloomy at the moment and usually if you want to shoot landscape if you come earlier in the morning right then i think the lake should be more still the water is going to be more still then you get pretty nice reflections yeah but uh, since this is actually a man-made lake i think they have got this filtration system running around so the water is never gonna be like super still anyway just try it out and see All right, I think I have got some shots all around here and I think the handheld high res mode is working great because I don't see much ghosting appearing on the image. Then again, we still got to check it out in the monitor later. Uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is to compare between the mode on and off. Okay, no knees, hands only. This is on. So we have the handheld high res mode turn off and here we go Ugh. my advice is if you want to turn off the handheld high res mode use a tripod 
And then again, it shows that the mode really does work well. Okay, let's go. All right, I think we have done enough of handheld high res mode right now. I'm gonna try to see the high res mode itself on how much details it can retain with the basketball. Okay, we are finally back at the studio after some basketball session with my colleagues. So let's look at the photos that we've just taken. First, I gotta check out if there's really any ghosting. From pre fall, I see no. So let's have a look at this. Zoom in closer a little bit and um, yeah, we can see a slight bit of ghosting just around all this area, but then I don't think it's that important though. Uh, yeah, it's really usable, I would say, that the photos. And uh, I think we have to did also the comparison between the handheld mode turn on and off, right? So let's have a look at both of it and see what is the difference. So this is gonna be the one that we have the mode turn on and you can see there's just slight ghosting. And let's take a look at the one with, wow. Yeah, definitely, yes. A tripod will be needed if you are turning off the handheld uh, high res mode function. Yes, a tripod is really needed because uh, else you get these kind of blurry images, which I don't think is that usable, yeah, especially for large sprints. And now let's take a look at the basketball that we have shot, just to compare whether the high res mode and without the high res mode, what is the details that it can actually retain. Zooming up close to 200% on this thing is like, wow! Oh, I would say that it's actually retaining much, much, much of the details here, I think, yeah. Now let's compare it to the one which is the lower res file. The details is still there, but then uh, that of course you have got a higher resolution photo and then you can actually print up to a bigger image. I would say the result is actually very, very impressive on the high res mode. Let's take a look at another shot that we did. A little bit soft though, but I still think, yep, nice. Considering that the amount of light that we had this morning was quite low and then uh, the whole shot was taken quite badly. Tit. Okay, in conclusion, I would say that the handheld high res mode on the all new GH6 is a very, very good addition, especially for anyone who may have forgotten their tripod but yet want to take some high res photos. Now, before I go, there is a warning for you guys. If you are not using the feature, do remember to turn it off because the file size generated is huge. But anyway, when you get your hands on the all new J6, do remember to test out this feature. And I will see you guys in the next video with more features of the GH6. Bye bye.